Hi, and welcome to Rora Matt. Today I'm doing a series of videos on percentages. Okay, so solve each of the following by translating into an equation or proportion and then solving. I'm going to do both. Okay, point 0.09 is 18% of what number? When you do a proportion, we set it up into a fraction equaling a fraction. Um, I always have 100. And I'm going to kind of set up all my proportions together to kind of show you one reason that students really like proportions is that proportions are mindless. And, you know, I don't always want you to think of math as being mindless, but the nice thing about proportions is it's very formulaic. You put the percent over 100 because percent literally translates to per 100. And so 18 is per 100, so 18 of 100. There's no percent, so we put an X over 100. There's no percent, so we put an X over 100. There's a 30%, so we put 30 over 100. It is quite simply as direct as that. Next, I look for the word of. Whatever comes directly after the word of is the other denominator. Well, after the word of is the word words, what number? That's our X. What comes after the word of is 196. What comes after the word of is 400. What comes after the word of is 88. Those are my denominators. Now, often you hear is over of. The reason I don't like that is the number it, the number around the word is can be before or after, and that can be kind of confusing. So I fill in those three numbers first. The 100 first, because the, the 100 has to be a denominator. Then the percent has to go with the 100, because it's per 100. Then whatever comes after the word of is the other denominator. And then your last number fills in your last spot. So I have a 0.09. Let's see, I have a 109.76. Let's see, I have a 250. And I don't have anything, so I put in an X. Now, notice I haven't actually read anything. All I've done is pattern match. And when you do a proportion for these percent problems, pattern matching is okay. Now, with a proportion, you cross multiply. So the 18 and the X multiply. The 0.09 and 100 multiply, divide, and I get that x is equal to 0 0.5. I like fractions, but when you start with a decimal, you answer with a decimal, and that's my answer. Now, I'm going to finish this problem off by translating it. When you translate it, the word is always becomes an equal sign. So 0 0.09 is, now 18%, I'm gonna translate that to a decimal. So 0.18 of what number? Then I divide both sides by 0.18. And when I divide this, I get X is 0.5. Now this case, when I did the translation, I did read. Okay, proportion, cross multiply. 196x equals 10976, because when you multiply by 100, your decimal moves over two places. I divide both sides by 196, and when I do that, x is going to equal 56%. Okay, there's my answer, 56%. All right, translation, 109.76 is what percent the word of means multiply of 196. I divide both sides by 196, and I get that x is 0 0.56. In this case, I have that decimal, kind of like I turned my percent into a decimal over here, and I have to then multiply by 100 to get it into a percent. The 100 is part of the problem when you do your proportion, which is why I didn't need to divide by 100 to get 0.18, and I don't need to multiply by 100 to get 56%. It's already part of the proportion. 
but translating to the sentence, to the mathematical sentence, is faster. It's just a quick translation. Okay, cross multiply. 400x equals 250 times 100 is 25000, 25,000. Divide both sides by 400. And x is equal to 62.5%. Okay. Um, if we translate this into a sentence, what percent of is multiplication, 400, is, is our equal sign, is is always an equal sign, 250. We divide both sides by 400, and we get that x is equal to 0 0.625. Again, we need to multiply by 100 to turn our decimal into a percent. All right, cross multiply, 100x is equal to 88 times 30. 100x is equal to 2640 divided by 100. And x is equal to 26.4. If we translate this into a sentence, what is, what is 30%, that's 0.3 or 0.30, of is multiplication, 88. Well, 0.3 times 88 is 26.4. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.